In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a boys, a male, a speedo swimsuit bottom, okay? So, it's actually really simple. It's much easier than the girls because it's smaller and there's less steps. Um, but the main difference is just that you need to have the um, uh, buttonhole here to be able to put the, the um, shoestring inside to tie it tight, okay? So, I have two here. In the video, I'm going to show you how to make this one. Um, so the best way to find a pattern is pretty much because they don't sell swimsuit patterns or anyone that are decent. You just get an old swimsuit, you stitch rip it, yeah it'll take forever but you don't have much choice. Uh, you stitch rip it and then you trace it out and then you use that pattern to make your own and then you can make minor modifications until you have your perfect pattern, okay? So this is it. Okay, so once you've cut out, so this is the, this is the, the back piece. So, uh, sorry, that's the top and that's the bottom. Um, what you need to do is base the, the lining to the swimsuit, the actual material, okay? My lining is a light blue. I use a contrasting thread, and even though I hate hand sewing, this is the, probably one of the few times I do hand sewing, except I also sewing buttons. So what you do is you go in, out. So this is actually pretty fast, okay? You need to do it by hand because I used to do it by machine, but I find it gets too much thread and too bumpy and it's not even and the threads pull all over the place so if you do it by hand it's the best way to do it so then you just pull this all the way through and I only use it with one thread so there's no knot whatsoever you just go in so this is only one thread thickness so this is one thread and that goes through and um, so that that's there it's for the back and this is for the front piece this is all hand. We keep it in a contrasting color so that later we can remove this thread. Next, you place the right sides together and we serge the seams. I use four threads with the one of uh, the upper looper with that of um, uh, the woolly fleecy nylon. See, see how so then that allows it to stretch just like this. Okay, so after you finish all the hand basting, what you do is you place the, the front to the back piece, right? And then you serge the side seams. So this is the side seam and then the crotch seam. And now I've already started the elastic. So for the, this is the top. So for the two leg hole elastics, the width is skinnier than the waistband elastic. Because the waistband, we're going to be putting a shoestring inside. And that will be for the um, waistband, the drawstring, to tie it, right? So this one is about, this is the waistband one, this one's thicker. It's about one and a half centimeters. Whereas the one for the legs are only like one centimeter, okay? So what you do, see this one I've already done. You use your hand needle and you just baste it together, okay? So you take the two ends, make sure it's not twisted, right? And then you place this two together and then you use your hand sew and you sew it. Afterwards, what we do, you take your elastic, you take a little marker, you place four dots. So you place a dot anywhere, it doesn't matter. Fold it in half. We're just measuring it and dividing this into four equal parts and that way we're going to match it up with the four equal parts on the swimsuit so then you can have your elastic really even okay so we have the four dots here then we're going to do the same for the leg hole and then when you serge it you match up the dots together so that way each section will be even Okay, so when I'm serging the elastic, I use three needles, okay, so three threads, and it's the regular thread. I do not use, like, the fleecy, kind of, like, woolly stretch thread. I only use that when I'm sewing the seams, okay, because when you're sewing the elastic, the elastic is already stretched enough, and you don't need that thread, and also that thread is more expensive. So, what you do, you have, we did the two dots, right, so we can, you can see the two dots. We're going to line them up, place it under the machine the needle down 
And also, I use the left needle with the two, uh, the upper looper and the lower looper. I don't use the right need right needle. You don't need it because um, uh, you don't need to stab any more extra holes in your elastic. Also, I use the pure rubber elastic. This is like the best elastic you can use for swimsuits. It lasts longer. It doesn't die as easy as the cloth elastic. And also, it's one of the main um, all Speedo, Arena, uh, Nike. They all use the elastic. But if you can't find el the elastic, you can use the cloth one. It's fine. Okay, so now we sew this. Okay, and when you get over edges, make sure you go slower. And what you do now, you see this dot, you go from the second dot, you line them up and you stretch it until that fits snug, and then you continue. Okay, and this way, how you're matching up the dots, that will have a perfectly even elastic. It won't be too tight or bunched up on one side. The elastic's all um, sewn on, so this looks like this. Okay, so now at this point, this is why we use the contrast thread to do the basting. So you can remove all this basting, and then we're going to finish off the hem like this, and we'll zigzag all the hem. Okay, but for the top, this is why it's thicker. First, we have to sew two buttonholes here before we flip it. Okay, so we're finishing off the hem. So I've already done this side. It's a zigzag stitch of the elastic, so that's what it looks like. Okay, and so... Make sure you use a stretch um, sewing needle because if not, the fabric, the thread, it doesn't catch and it gets like puckers all over the place. You just waste all your time and it's really annoying. So make sure you use a stretch needle. And I'm using a zigzag stitch. Um, you can do like the box stitch. It goes like this. Um, any of those will work. I sew from the right side partly because I want to make sure that it looks nice on this side because sometimes when you sew, like the bobbin tends to get like bleh and it like all messes it up. So I sew, but it's actually much easier to sew from this way because that way you can see exactly where you need to sew and try and sew as close to this edge, like the elastic, don't sew like on the edge of the side, but on that side as much so you won't have this like flap right here. So just finish off the hem of the swimsuit. I already have a separate video going into much more detail on the best way to hem an elastic. So before you hem the top of, of the waistband, at the front you want to mark like the center of it and then a little bit to the side and maybe about like a thumb width. Um, you want to place make two buttonholes. You have to do this before you hem it because if not, it's not going to work. So since we're going to, when we hem it, we're going to sew right here. So we need to put the, uh, the, bo um, sorry, the buttonhole a bit lower, okay? So that, I've already done one and I've marked for the other one so that when you flip it on this side, you'll have the button on here and then we'll be able to put the shoestring inside. That's the, why we need the width of this elastic to be wider so that we'll have space for the, um, um, the shoestring. And also make sure you use like a thick piece of interfacing because this is elastic and it'll be much easier to sew your buttonholes. So now that that's done, we're going to fold this over and finish off the hem. The buttonhole, I find like scissors like these are really helpful to like snip it away. Okay, but if you don't have like these kind of scissors, you can just use the stitch ripper. Okay, and so what you do is you take a pin and you stick the pin at the end so that way you won't like cut all the way through and be really careful and go really slowly because if you cut too much like you waste your whole project. So be really, really careful for this part. Okay, so the next, the last part is just to thread through the shoestring. So instead of putting like the safety pin like at the end and then trying to pull it along and this getting caught all the way, actually just fold the top tip pin it like this and then thread it through the, the hole just like this. That way it'll be really easy and smooth to glide instead of this getting caught all over the place.